Okay, I've had two or three people ask for clarification about the instrument organization chart and the scavenger hunt. And so that means I should make a short video and hopefully that will help many people as you probably all share some of the same questions. So this here is just a table that you're gonna fill in the information from the textbook. You're making a study guide. It's a way of helping you um, get the information out of the book. So I'm gonna to go to chapter five right now and I will do the beginning of this with you. So here it says orchestral instruments and string instruments. It says, well, we have a violin and a viola and a cello and a double bass and a harp. That's quite different is what it says. And, it's, and the table is trying to get certain information. So it says violin, how does it produce its sound? That correlates with, this is page uh, 39 in, in the current sixth edition. Right here it says, string instruments produce sound by vibrating strings. This is done two ways, by drawing a bow across the string or by plucking the string with the finger. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna write here. I'm gonna say, how does it produce sound? Well, it draws a bow across string right, or a string, right? I'm making myself a study guide. Now, um, somebody asked earlier, there seems to be a lot of repetition. And, and this, is, um, this is true because uh, violins, violas, cellos, and double basses, while well, their size is different, and then it makes them, um, makes them play, you know, slightly differently from each other. Um, they, they basically work mechanically the same, okay? So I can put same as or C vial in here. You're making a study guide for yourself, okay? The harp is different. It says, um, it says here, the bow is, da 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 da, the hair on the bow, usually players with da 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 da, the vibrations of the string conducted through there. Uh, in this case, the, the, the harp is by plucking the string with fingers. So down here on the harp, I will say pluck string with fingers or strings with finger. Okay. Now, how does it modify its tim timbre? You have to, you have to read through your book here. It says uh, the timbre of string instruments can be affected in several ways. Uh, one is to rock the left hand for back and forth with rapid motions. That's called vibrato. Okay, it works on guitar too, adds warmth. All the string players use vibrato when playing at advanced levels. Another way to do it is by placing a mute over the bridge. It's a small device that goes on the bridge, sort of dampens the sound and makes it mellow. And it says the timbre of the string is also affected by the way that the bow is drawn across the string. Some more pressure, you know, that's harsher tone and stuff like that. So that doesn't really affect the harp. So you can say the harp is NA, it doesn't really do that. But you can say, how does it affect timbre? Well, you use vibrato and you use, um, what was the other, oh, a mute on the bridge. And you can also just bow pressure, right? Changes the way it works, okay? And, you know, this is the same all the way down, right there, like that. Now, in the string instruments, because these four instruments are uniform, that's, uh, you know, going to be similar. But when we get to the other families, you're going to find that mechanically things start to change, right? Okay. How does it change pitch? Well, read through regulating pitch, figure out how it does that, and describe it in a bullet point form right here. Right, same thing for harp. And then how does it begin and end the sound or stop and start sounds? That's from right here, okay? I'm causing you and giving you a format to study the textbook and get the information out in a comparative logical way. And if you make this correctly, it's an excellent study guide for you. And you do one family a day, okay? Take a picture of this and upload it to the assignment that says string instruments chart. Okay, and then you have woodwind instruments, which is the next one. That's due today, I think, or tomorrow.
today, tomorrow, brass instruments the next day. Percussion, there's a whole bunch and they're all quite different. So that one's gonna be a little more work. And then on the final day, keyboard instruments from chapter six, okay? And it's just three and we won't worry about the other instruments. This makes a nice comprehensive um, set of tables for you. And you've been through the textbook then and you've had a way to, to format that into a table. Um, I'm forcing you to use your textbook and get in there in this way. Very similar to making a quiz, for instance, that makes you go through here, but then you get a product at the end, plus you've been through it once and had to write it out. That's how we do those. The scavenger hunt is different. It's the scavenger hunt because we're gonna try and check boxes, okay? And um, this is like, there's the 28 instruments we were doing on the other charts over there. This is uh, sort of like, you should ideally be able to answer yes to all these things here. And if you can't, then you should go do it. Uh, so you can say yes. For instance, have you seen a picture of a violin other than in a textbook? Like, have you really? And the answer is yes. Okay, so you, or you can just go check, either one. Um, but don't just go like somewhere. And if you can't say yes to that, Go find a picture of the violin. Again, not one in the textbook. You know, take a moment and go to an instrument's website or something like that. I gave you a reference for that. And do that there and take a look at that. Have you listened to any examples of the instrument outside of the textbook? Now, if you think about it really hard, you could say, oh, wait. I think there was violins definitely playing in the orchestral stuff in Star Wars or in a Disney movie or something like that. And if not, go to the internet, you know, and say yes. But, you know, if you want to, you know, rather than just going, yes, 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 you might go like, ah, I saw it on Mulan. I haven't seen it on Mulan because we didn't rent Mulan, but, you know, that kind of thing, right? Or, you know, somewhere you could just say, like, my brother plays it, right? Yes, my sons play it, right? And so I've heard it. Could I recognize it in a picture? Well, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we throw a picture up there and I said, what kind of instrument is this? Could you tell the difference between a violin, viola, cello, and double bass? Would you know that? If not, take a moment and, and figure that out, right? Study it a little bit, okay? Have you seen the instrument played live or in video, or have you played it yourself? Basically, do you have any, other than pictures, do you have any experience with it actually mechanically being played, right? This doesn't presume you're going to go and play every one, but maybe you go to YouTube and find examples of that. Do a little research, ideally, and then finally, have you have you listened to it enough? This is different than have you just listened to it at all? Have you listened to it enough that if you heard it, you'd go like, ah, that's an oboe, right? And if you can't say yes to these, then you're undereducated for the class. And so we want you to go through and spend this whole weekend and a little bit into the next week um, going through here, take several instruments every every day or so, or maybe four or five instruments and research them, find a picture of them, listen to a clip of them, take a moment and study what it really looks like so you can say that, yes. Um, go grab a video off of YouTube and of somebody playing it, you know, and, and uh, there you are. Uh, this, well, in order to get an A, if you can say yes to all these things for every instrument, that's full points. Um, ideally, it would be nice if you knew them well enough there but you know I'm incentivizing you to get experience with these things you know so you can say I know what it looks like I know what it sounds like I've seen it played right if I listen to it I can hear it and that's what this is okay and then you will take a picture of that and upload it next week I hope that makes uh, things clearer for you again this is going section by section of your textbook and summarizing the information on how things make sound how they modify the color or timbre of the sound, how does it change or regulate the pitch, and how does it start and stop. It's right in the textbook and you're summarizing it, making a study guide. That's what you take a picture of. This is a checklist of all the kinds of experiences and abilities you should have um, with these instruments minimally, right? Can you, have you taken the time to see it in a picture? Have you taken the time to find an audio clip? Um, do you know it well enough that you could say, ah, that's a bassoon, right? Some of them are yes. Some of them might take a little bit of work, right? Um, have you seen it played live? Have you, have you actually done that? Heck, I'll even take um, animated films if you can 
you know, if you're sure that it's actually that instrument, like, you know, as opposed to just sort of a cartoon representation of something along those lines. Okay. And there we go. Good hunting. Have a great weekend learning about these instruments.